On the last episode of Three Bros Go to Orange, we headed over to the First Presbyterian Church to visit with Bobby and see the first air conditioner ever built this side of the Mississippi. In this episode, we have to see a lot more of Orange. All right, so right now we are driving the route. Just check it out because we, we, we've been around downtown Orange, but we haven't really, you know, checked out the route. There are some railroad tracks over here, but I don't think the railroads, there's no tracks on the railroad tracks. Oh, there is actually, but I don't think they use these railroads, so. And now we head north on Simmons Drive. Yeah. I think Simmons Drive is the same as uh, 90. Yeah, it is, it's actually. Yeah, it's cool. You put a big banner right there. The middle. Now we're over here at the Riverfront Pavilion. We just uh, rode the route. You need to make a few adjustments, but not bad. I'm happy with that. Uh, we were kind of worried about a street, and it's a good thing we did drive down here because there was a street that had not the greatest roads, just because it was more in the industrial area. But we're going to take that out and have a route that's awesome for you guys. So uh, right now we're checking out the, 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 the end part. This is where the party is going to be. We're in the pavilion. There's going to be music over here vendors all around over here you guys could you know lounge over here have a picnic do whatever depending on what food we have to offer you guys afterwards but i we like this we like this venue over here it's nice so this will be like where the stage where like hey people uh, get their age group awards age group awards and then we'll have like the concert or band and then people would sing and then we'll have like have i guess uh, the dj is gonna have our speakers i don't i don't know we have we have access to like power here right I think yeah she said yeah power. i think so I yeah mean, power power uh we got a man lift and maybe putting some signage yeah. up there yeah, even, that, that would be you awesome. know time or what have you That's what I was so my name's lauren lee um i'm a local artist and I was hired by the Lions Club here in Orange, Texas to do this mural. And um, Paul, the owner of the building, donated his this wall for us to do it on. Um, and I kind of started with the concept and we put our brains together and came up with this idea for more of an interactive, everyone will be able to, it's actually gonna come onto the ground so oh, you wow. can step into the painting. So it'll be cool, yeah. How long have you been working on this? So uh, this'll be the 18th day. All right. Day wow. 18, yeah. So, so what is, is everything orange then, I would assume? Yes. So the, the fishing tournaments that they have? Yes, the fishing tournaments, and we've got the plant yeah, industry. Plant industry. Um, this will be a fishing dock. So you oh, can, oh, wow. Okay. You can step into it and then hold the fishing rod to pretend. It'll go out to the side and oh, hook cool. onto the bass, and it'll say, good things happen here. So that is actually going to be a um, cool mural that she's painting, and it's going to be done by race day. So. For after the race, definitely head over there, take a picture of the orange mural painted by Lauren. I will put her information down in the links down below. So uh, we are going to go find something to eat at Richard's. I was calling it Richard's, but it's clearly called Richard's. Well, I've been here 20 years. Uh, and we might be opening the first uh, week of April. Okay, yeah. Where are you located here in the uh, 3720 West Park. What kind of food do you serve? What kind of food? We have Mexican food, we have Cajun food, we have American food, and we have the best steaks in town. <laughs> we had two road beers, and uh, the restaurant part isn't open. Like she said, it's going to be open probably in April. So it'll be open in time for a race, but right here is the grocery side, and they do have hot food to pick up so that's what we're doing i got me a chicken fried steak with uh, some good sides what'd you get mike hamburger french fries can't go wrong, can't go wrong with the hamburger french fries the little uh, store over here has a bunch of cajun food they got cracklings one of my favorites not good for you but it's good to you right it tastes really good uh willie's getting a boudin ball right now and right now we're just waiting for our food just got got me a, a tea piece tea to you know hang out and mike got a hey we are hungry. We are, we are hungry. We've been going at this for a while now, so we're hungry. Well, been in business 42 years. On this location, about uh, 22, and uh, right across the boat ramp, the mm -hmm. big building there, that, that was my first mm -hmm. building. 
on a uh, uh, table drive. And then I bought this. And we've been through a lot. We've been through hell. We've, we've been through uh, hurricanes and floods. And last year was a uh, fire. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. We're recovering right now. But what kind of food you serve here? Good. Good food? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of everything, right? Yes. Uh, steaks, mainly. But right now, we're only serving minimum menu. The, the, the restaurant will be opening in uh, in April. Right now, we're still facing it. You know, so. so are you Robert? Is that the name of the restaurant? Where'd Robert come from? That's my first thing. Uh, so that's your first thing? Robert, Robert. Robert. That's French. So do you call this restaurant Robert's or Robert? Robert. <laughs> it depends where you're from. If you're from Louisiana <laughs> like me, it's Robert. Yeah. <laughs> Check out my food here. I got the chicken fried steak, some collard greens, and okra and tomatoes. Mike got himself a nice burger. Willie got him a chicken fried steak sandwich. He got a lot of fries. Y'all got a lot. I'm going to eat some of your fries for sure. And I also got a peach cobbler and some gravy. So this is actually like the dinner special. And that's what I got. So we're going to enjoy it now because we are hungry. All right, let's see how this chicken fried steak tastes. Got to get the white gravy. You guys do white gravy or brown gravy? I agree with you for chicken pressing all the time. Mm, that's good. Mm, that's good. It's like freshly made, yeah. freshly battered. It's good. Best out. Everybody like the food? Yeah, it's really good. Look, look at this. Look at this. This sandwich right here. Look at that big sandwich. This is insane. Yeah, it's overflowing with like meat. It doesn't fit the whole bun. Burger's good. I got okra right here. Everything's hot. Fresh and clean. Right out of Robear's kitchen. This was the fast food area because the restaurant's not open yet, but man, we are stuffed. We were hungry, and now we are full. But now we're gonna go back over to the uh, paper supply place and uh, talk to the owner. So I'm Paul Dickerson. Uh, my wife and I own the Orange Stationer and have since uh, 2015. This business has been around since 1952. It's had several owners. Most popular was Henry Seals, who had it for 34 years, just before us. We are a business supplies company. We do everything that you might need for your business, uh, janitorial, uh, restaurant supplies, uh, office supplies and we do a lot of new and used furniture as well. We had to check it out. We've been hearing about the stationery store for a long time and we wanted to check it out. Orange stationery. Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for today in Orange. Got a lot of stuff done. Got me a bunch of people. We enjoyed it. See you guys in the next episode of Three Bros Go to Orange and hopefully I don't crash right here. Alright guys, see you guys later. Peace. We still have a lot more orange content coming at you. Make sure to like and subscribe to follow the three bros here on YouTube.